How do you lose 110 million? Like, I'm just reading the title, wasn't it? Yeah. How? Must have been on, yeah, just total foolishness, man. Like, see, he would not be in his position, yeah? And this is this is what happens, yeah? I've spoken about this before, haven't it, yeah? These people who are millionaires and, yeah, they're really wealthy and that, people in the limelight, people are like NBA football, NBA stars, footballers, rappers and that, they all are just high-class employees. That's it. They haven't developed the mindset to be sensible with money. Yeah, your average employee yeah, just lives paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, without hardly any savings or whatever, really, yeah. Like a, a, a businessman, yeah, would not go down the same route as him. Really. A businessman can lose it all, but he'll lose it all for different reasons. Maybe investing it in the wrong investment or something like that, or taking a big risk or whatever, really, yeah. But he wouldn't lose it. I don't know what this guy's lost, how he lost his money. He's probably over foolishness, yeah. I assume foolishness, isn't it? Yeah. But a businessman won't lose his money like that, anyway. But a lot of these people, like these rappers and footballers and basketball players and that. They all have employees' mindsets. Yeah, it, although they're millionaires, yeah, they have, all have employees' mindsets. They think, oh yeah, there's always going to be another paycheck. Always going to be another paycheck. No, and this is why. Oh, you know, I always like to talk about this. This is why you got celebrities committing suicide and hanging themselves because they have employees' mindset. Yeah, we ain't gonna fling no names. But remember that girl that took her life, the one that was the host of the TV program. Yeah, because. She slapped her boyfriend or something like that, yeah? She took her life because they removed her from the show. They kicked her off the show, yeah? And now she feels, oh, I ain't got no income coming in, yeah? Well, you was earning a mil a year from presenting that show. Why did you not invest that money? She thought it was a better idea, yeah? So I did read up on something. I think she did um, buy a property, in it, But to live in. Yeah, there's a difference between buying a property to live in and, and being an investor as well, isn't it, yeah? You're not making no money off the property that you live in. Yeah, you're investing in the property, it's going up in value, but you're not getting any income from the property, yeah? Your own property that you're paying off the capital for, that is a long-term game, yeah? You still need short-term income, yeah? She relied on the show to generate her income, yeah? Ah, man, the man, the man flung the name in, innit? Well, not really, innit? But yeah, but yeah, you know, you know the one, innit? Yeah, she relied on her, 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 um, her career as the host or whatever, yeah, to pay her bills, whatever, innit? No, fam, no, a man and that are footballers, man and that are rappers or whatever, innit? Yeah, blah, you need to be investing your money in businesses, investing your money in property, whatever, innit? You need to be generating passive income because you know. Let's say that someone like Drake, yeah, they could strip him off his title, you know, and he owns no rights to the name Drake or whatever, innit? Yeah, like, I don't really know the ins and outs with Chipmunk, but the reason why he calls himself Chip, yeah, C-H-I-P, Chip, is because he's no longer able to use the name Chipmunk. He can't trade off the name Chipmunk. So let's say before, right, he was worth, like, you know, like they have royalties and that where they play a song, they pay you some money or whatever, innit, yeah? Someone correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, but if they strip you of your title and say you're not allowed to be Chipmunk no more, you're no longer you're no longer allowed to be Jay Wise the rapper. Jay Wise the rapper, that name Jay Wise, I can't claim any royalties off that name anymore. Yeah. I can call myself Jay Wizzy, yeah, but I can't call myself Jay Wise no more. I can't claim any money off the royalties, yeah, because I've lost my contract or whatever in it. Yeah. People who are in that position, yeah. If you're a footballer or a basketball player, you need to be investing your money so you can make passive income. Man. Yeah, you're earning £300,000 a month. Yeah, yeah, big money. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going to be thinking about passive income, passive income. You're like, I'm always going to be a footballer or whatever. Man. You don't know what might happen. Man. You don't know what might happen. Yeah, you might be stripped of your title. You might not be able to get another, um, you might not be, you know, be able to play football again for whatever reason. Yeah, you need passive income, you need other sources of income to generate you money. Yeah. You can't be relying on just one source of income. Yeah. And that's how employees think. Employees think paycheck to paycheck. Oh, I'm always gonna have this job. No, fam. You don't no fam. You're not always gonna have this job. Yeah. You might you might not necessarily get fired from the job like that. Yeah. But you might do something, yeah, that is gonna affect your employment or whatever, innit? 
But when I was working at Holmes Haringey, Holmes for Blood Clark Haringey, yeah, they wanted to try and, I don't know, discipline me or something like that. It didn't go anywhere. All because, guys, this is so stupid, yeah. I'm an electrician, yeah. I registered a private company. I went onto company's house. I registered a private company, yeah, in my name, yeah. This is, for example, argument say JY's electrical, yeah. I registered JY's electrical. They had a problem with that, yeah. They don't want you having other business endeavors outside of working for the company, yeah. For whatever, whatever reason, I don't really know, yeah. They could potentially get rid of you for that, yeah. This is the thing. A lot of people who especially work for councils as well, yeah. There's man who's been on the council for 20 years, 30 years. There's man that work for Hackney Council, Southwark Council, Harringay Council, 20, 30 years. It's a job for life, yeah. They get into that employee's mindset where they just become complacent, yeah. There was one stage, yeah, they were going through redundancies. Man, them were shook, yeah. Man, them were scared. Grown ass men, you know scared you know when they were going through redundancies yeah people in the office shitting themselves yeah when they were talking about redundancies because they didn't come they became complacent worked at a job 15 years 20 years men have become complacent yeah so with these high class employees like these rappers footballers models whatever in it yeah um basketball players whatever in it yeah when they're getting 300 grand in their account every month yeah they need to be investing that money in passive incomes other businesses property yeah because that money might not always be there but what they do is they get sucked into the lifestyle because they're easily influenced so they feel like they need to be driving a lamborghini they feel like they need to be wearing Balmain from head to toe. You don't. Who, 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 who says that? Who, well, where, is the, where is that in the contract that if you're a footballer, if you're a basketball player, if you're a rapper, where is that in the contract that you have to wear Balenciaga from head to toe? You have to drive a Lamborghini. You don't, yeah? You're doing it because you can and you're also doing it to look good, yeah? I get it. Why have all that money just to look good? But at the end of the day, right, no matter how much money you're making, yeah, you need to always be making sacrifices, yeah? And these people don't make no sacrifice. That's why they end up fucked, yeah? I'm telling you right now, I put strong money on it, yeah? That girl that took her life, he was the host of that TV program, yeah? If she had multiple streams of income, if she had... Mobile shoes income generating, I don't know, let's say 20 grand a year, 20 grand a month, sorry, yeah? She would not have taken her life. If after, let's say, if after her mortgage was paid off, because obviously I assume she's paying off a, a mortgage, right, for whatever penthouse she had or whatever in it, yeah? Let's say the mortgage is six grand or 10 grand a month, yeah? After all her bills are paid off, yeah? yeah? She still has an extra 20,000 pounds coming into her account, yeah? If she did, she would not have taken her life. Yeah? It was only due to money. It wasn't due to her having a bad reputation, you know, in social media or whatever, innit, yeah? It was because she wasn't earning any money, yeah? Or she, she wouldn't be earning it the same amount of money as before or whatever, innit, yeah? That's why she took her life. It ain't got nothing to do with, um, you, you, what, you're really going to kill yourself because, because people think you're a bad person because you beat up your boyfriend. Really? Because, yeah, because if everyone thought like that, um, Beyonce's sister, who slapped up Jay-Z in the elevator, yeah, she, she would have took her life as well, wouldn't it? Because people, people say she's never getting arrested, got nothing to do with her um, looking like a bad person, yeah? It's simply because she didn't have no money coming in like that, yeah? And she thought, oh, I'm not going to be able to live the same lifestyle, the same luxury lifestyle as before. When really, blood, she's, oh, man, these people don't think, man, you are a high profile person at the moment, yeah? May not fling no names, but there's certain celebrities out here. They got a name. For one, they, they was a socialite because their dad was the lawyer in OJ Simpson's case. 
and then they made a sex tape with a singer. Yeah, we ain't got a thing on it, but we know who we're talking about, innit? Yeah, they 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 got a pro. They they became high profile, whatever, innit? Yeah, because of who their father was and the particular case, and they made a sex tape with a certain person, innit? Yeah, now they're rich off of that. This person ain't done no work or nothing like that, and no disrespect to them. Yeah. But this person ain't putting no grind like that, yeah, to get to where they got to. It's because of who they knew, whatever, in it, yeah. And let's not start with this. It's not what you know, it's who you know, bullshit, yeah. But yeah, they banged the right person, yeah, and they became famous or whatever, in it, yeah. So that person got clout, yeah. That person became a high profile person. If this same girl that took her life, yeah, if she just thought to herself, I'm a high profile person now. If I make a YouTube channel, if I make a YouTube channel and write a book, oh my God, I'm going to make so much money. Yeah. I'm going to make so much money. But people don't think like that. Yeah. Because they have an employee's mindset. They think short term over long term. Yeah. She could have made money. If she made, if she wrote a book, she could have made money. Yeah. People always want to know people's stories. Yeah. Remember, 90% of people in this world are not focused. People always want to know about what's going on in other people's lives, yeah? So, yeah, people are going to be interested in her life story or whatever, isn't it, yeah? She probably had no life story to tell. Oh, well, I think she was born in Enfield as well. Oh, I was born in Enfield. I went to normal state school just like everyone else. And yeah, that's it, yeah? When you got a man like me, my life is like a fucking movie to a blood club, yeah? 